It's your girl QG back in the cut. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show y'all my hair wash routine. This is tiresome, but this is for the lazy naturals. So I'm going ahead and showing you what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use that suave conditioner, a wide tooth comb, a paddle brush also. Then I'm gonna use a clarified shampoo by suave. And then I'm gonna use my favorite Aussie three minute miracle. Right here you see me drenching my hair. I'm getting it wet. As you can see, it was so dry and so tangled. It was just absolutely disgusting. That was like a five day old wash and go. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and drench my hair. Then I'm gonna just put conditioner all over my head um, and work that in. I'm just gonna detangle my hair. I'm gonna finger detangle right now. So that's gonna make the process a lot easier. Please do not skip this step, guys. I mean, always detangle your hair before you shampoo because if not your hair is going to be matted your hair is going to be tangled your hair is going to come out you're going to lose unnecessary hair so go ahead and take this time and remember that this is a seven minute video and it's sped up this usually takes me about 30 to 45 minutes if we're being honest As you can see, I'm adding a lot of conditioner in my head. And this conditioner is only like $2, so I really don't mind. And plus, it has a lot of slip, so that helps with the detangling process. Right here you see me taking my big wide tooth comb and I'm just combing out the tangles that my fingers couldn't detangle. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the ends of my hair then work my way up to the roots. And I'm going to repeat this process until I feel like all the tangles are out of my head. Um, like I said, this process is a little time consuming but it's worth it in the end. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my paddle brush and I'm going to do the same process from the ends to the roots and I'm going to just repeat this and I'm going to make sure that all of the tangles are out of my head so that way I don't lose any unnecessary hair. So I plait my whole head and then when my whole head is plaited and detangled, I go ahead and take that clarifying shampoo. Now I know that this strips your hair. It removes all the moisture. I totally understand that. But when I do style such as a wash and go or a twist out, even a braid out, I use a lot of product in my head. Even though your hair is dry when it's time to wash your hair, you still have those nasty products in your hair. So you gotta go ahead and just clean it. So I put the shampoo mainly on my roots and I massage it in. And I just focus the shampoo on my roots and I just let the water run down and let the soap come down to my ends. I massage it really well. Like this is my favorite part. It just feels so good. And then I'll unplat one section at a time and then let that shampoo uh, fall down to my ends as well. Right here, you'll see me like parting and sectioning my hair. That's just to ensure that I'm getting water everywhere. I'm getting soap everywhere. Cause like I said, my hair is very thick in my previous videos. So I have to take my time and section it sometimes in even smaller sections than four sections.
after I have shampooed a section, I'm just going to go ahead and twist my hair just to know that that section is already clean and detangled. Now this is my hair clean and shampooed with no product. Like my curls are coming back to life. They are giving me life, sis. Like this is what the clarifier shampoo will do to you. Right here, I'm just rinsing all that extra shampoo out of my head. I unplaid my hair and I just make sure that all that shampoo is out because I don't want that to dry my hair. So take your time and rinse. Now it's my favorite part. Yes, okay, okay, deep conditioning time. I take the Austin 3 Minute Miracle and I just get as much as I possibly want. And I'm just gonna put this all over my head. And y'all, look how this just glides through my hair. I love this deep conditioner. It's only like $4, I think. And it's my favorite. I haven't found anything better. And it leaves your hair soft as well. It's not just soft while it's in your hair. It's soft after you rinse it as well. I leave it in a little longer than three minutes probably like five to six minutes and as you can see my curls are popping sis they are popping right here i'm just running my brush through my hair once again and i have the sneezies i don't know what was going on my allergies were acting up actually but i'm just gonna take my paddle brush and then i'm just gonna plait my hair into four sections again Now that my hair is nice and clean and detangled into my four sections, it is definitely now ready to style. You can look specifically at my roots and just see how clean and detangled my hair is. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Smooches!